fast, charged, electromobile. Welcome to EV Generation, a place where the future becomes reality. We guide you through topics ranging from ecology and technology to lifestyle and mobility trends. EV Generation Euro Trip. Welcome to another episode of Euro Trip. Today we are in Nadazhin near Warsaw at EcoEnz charging station right next to Scania's headquarters. This is Poland's first charging hub dedicated to electric trucks, featuring four CCS charging points, each with the capacity of up to 350 kilowatts, ensuring highly efficient and accessible charging. Today we are meeting with representatives of Scania and Ecoen to learn more about creating this hub, who uses it and plans for its future. What is the function of such a hub and who can use it? The hub is publicly open. That means that all electric vehicle users, both passenger cars and commercial vehicles, are able to charge their vehicles here. The hub contains two parking slots for trucks with semi-trailers, but uh, it can be also used by four rigid or passenger cars at the same time. There are four charging points. Each of them can deliver continuously the power of 350 kilowatts. Ta 50 kW to jest naprawdę super, bo teraz są nowe samochody, które naprawdę przyjmą tą moc ładowania i uważam, że 20 minut to jest super czas postoju, jeszcze jak jesteśmy w trasie i do tego dążymy. Chciałbym, żeby było więcej takich ładowarek, jak jest tutaj i myślę, że to jest fajna przyszłość. Ile zajmuje Ci na ładowanie samochodu tak od 0 do 80%? Przyjmując, że jeśli ładowarka ładuje z pełną mocą, czyli tak jak przypuszcza samochód 375 kW, to jest to godziny 10, godziny 15. Jeśli byśmy chcieli ładować pojazd od 0 do 100%, jakieś 85 minut. Ładowanie samochodu elektrycznego jest proste, intuicyjne? Proste, intuicyjne. To jest jak dystrybutor. Podjeżdżamy, podpinamy, uruchamiamy aplikację lub przekładamy kartę. No i tylko ten czas czasami jest oczekiwania w zależności właśnie od mocy ładowarek. No musimy sobie tego czasu troszkę zaplanować i inaczej to poukładać. Czy jesteś zadowolony z prowadzenia ciężarówki elektrycznej? Jak najbardziej. Gama pojazdów ciężarowych, marki Scania, czy to spalinowe, czy elektryczne, są tak samo komfortowe i dobrze wyciszone. Ta moc od zera, tak, od najniższej prędkości, przyspieszenie, dynamika, tak, no daje tutaj bardzo dużą przewagę, no i przede wszystkim komfort dla kierowcy, cisza, nie ma drgań. Jeśli kierowca raz już wsiądzie w pojazd elektryczny, tak, zobaczy jakie są jego właściwości i zalety, będzie mu bardzo ciężko później wsiąść w inny pojazd spalinowy. Na chwilę obecną mamy już dużo dostępnych ładowarek, gdzie kierowca zaplanować sobie może razem z pauzą Tacho, jak i gdzie kiedy się doładować i ile zajmie mu to czasu. We have complete our range. Nowadays it's a BEF range. It's not urban or regional. It depends on the customer. But overall we have uh, batteries capacity starting with 416 kilowatt hour up to 728, which uh, means that, that the currently the range of a combination 42 mm -hmm. truck combination might reach over 500 kilometers. So we are so close to meet something which we used to call long haul. Then, then four and a half hour driving and then 45 minutes stop. And then additional four and a half hour of, of a driving during the, the normal working day. Do you have a plan to upgrade this hub to MCS? Uh, of course, uh, this hub was actually designed from the very start to be upgraded. Uh, we have all the cables already lying in the ground, uh, so it's actually just a question of uh, crossing some power units together and giving the necessary power. We can uh, charge a charging point up to 700 kilowatts uh, if the need arises and uh, once the satellite who will be av available to give uh, such power with MCS uh, will be available on the market. Public charging hubs intended for heavy-duty vehicles are necessary 
for enabling transport decarbonization process as well as transition towards zero emission fleets. Easy accessible, powerful and dense network of public charging points is crucial for electrifying the long haulage transport. Scania offers a public charging solution for trucks called Scania Charging Access. The service provides convenient access to Europe-wide network of charging points for commercial vehicles. Moreover, a Milens, a joint venture between the Triton Group that Scania belongs to, Daimler Truck and the Volvo Group was established in 2022. Milens is committed to build and operate 1,700 high-performance public charging points for commercial vehicles across the Europe by 2027. Great, thank you. As you can see, plans are very big and we wish all of us to have the best experience on charging station and we hope that this charging station is going to be a new standard in Europe. Why did you decide to buy Ecoenergetica's chargers? That's the discussion about the partnership, about being aware of, of the quality, of the safety and the uptime which, uh, which Ecoenergetica's production can deliver. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, that was uh, easy decision, I can tell you. Thank you for being with us during this episode of Eurotrip. As you can see, Nadazhin is ready both for passenger cars and trucks. So if you need to charge your vehicle, you can always come here. And don't forget to follow our social media to know where we go next and to learn more interesting things about electromobility. EV Generation Euro Trip.